Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful Dear students, Assalamu alaikum I am Aisha Abdullah, Subject Specialist Maths at Divianal Public School and College Sahiwal Students, I'll teach you Maths of Class 8th and this is your lecture number 5 As you already know that we are studying chapter number 1 that is operations on sets. So here are the contents include verification of associative law with respect to union, verification of associative law with respect to intersection, exercise number 1.2 question number 2. After completion of this topic, the students will be able to verify associative laws with respect to union and intersection. Before starting the lecture, let's recall the previous knowledge. In previous lectures, you have learned about the commutative laws of union and intersection on sets. So do you know what are these laws? To write these laws we take two sets here as If A and B are two sets then the commutative laws with respect to union and intersection are written as and read as A union B is equal to B union A A intersection B is equal to B intersection A This is the symbol for union and this is the symbol for intersection. Do you know what these laws say to us? The commutative law for union and the commutative law for intersection say that the order of the sets in which we do the operation does not change the result. To understand this, let's take an example. So here is an example, if two sets are given like that, here you have to verify commutative law of union on these given sets. Commutative law of union is given over here as, firstly we will find A union B, after that we will find B union A, then we will observe the results, if both results are equal or same, it means commutative law is verified. Now we will understand it through solution. Here the two sets are given. Elements in set A are 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 10. Elements in set B are 3, 5, 7 and 9. We will write here A union B as because we have to find union of these two sets. Now, we'll write set A here as only for convenience and insert symbol of union here. After that, write set B which is given over here as that is 3, 5, 7 and 9. Now, we have to take union. In simple words, for union, you have to take combination of the elements of both sets but we only have to list these elements once. Or in other words, for union you have to write elements that are present in A or B or in both such that no element is repeated. Taking every element of both the sets A and B without repeating any element, we get a new set which is given over here as you can see. This new set contains all the elements of set A and all the elements of set B with no repetition of elements and is named as union of set A and B. Students, did you see any repetition of elements here? Of course not. Similarly, in this way, you will find B union A as 
After that, we observe that A union B and B union A both have same results and from 1 and 2 we'll get the result that is A union B is equal to B union A or in other words the order of the sets in which we do the operation does not change the result means if you change the order of the set whether A union B or B union A the result will be the same that is A union B is equal to B union A now the topic is exercise number 1.2 question number 2 students do you know about associative laws of union and intersection and what these laws tell us so before exercise firstly we'll try to know about associative laws of union and intersection if a b and c are three sets then the associative laws with respect to union and intersection are written respectively as first law states that the union of a set to the union of the two other sets is the same second law states that the intersection of a set to the intersection of the two other sets is the same this is associative law for union and this is associative law for intersection these laws say that how the sets are grouped does not change the result we'll understand this further by solving some questions Here is question number 2 of exercise 1.2. We have to verify these laws for each given sets. First part of question number 2 is given over here. Set X contains elements A, B, C and D. Set Y consists of elements B, D, C, F. Set Z consists of elements C, F, G, H. Firstly, we'll verify associative law of union for these sets. After that, we'll verify associative law of intersection by taking these sets. So, in solution, we'll firstly write associative law of union. Now, take left hand side, which is given over here as. Now, put the value of set x here in place of x that is a, b, c and d. Now, insert union symbol as. Now be careful about this round bracket. Don't ever miss it to write. So write this round bracket as it is. We'll firstly solve the expression enclosed within this bracket. Now put the value of set y here in place of y and insert the symbol u as it is. Again put the value of set c here in place of c that is c f g h. Now we'll find union of these two sets enclosed within round brackets. And then we'll take union of this set with the resultant set. So union of these sets is B, C, D, F, G, H. We'll write it in alphabetical order. Students, as you already know that, for union, taking every element of both the sets without repeating any element, we get a new set which is given over here as you can see. This new set contains all the elements with no repetition of elements. After solving this, we will remove these round brackets. Now, we will take union of these sets means we have to take union of this set with the resultant set. So we get A, B, C, D, F, G, H. You have to write these elements in alphabetical order. Named this as 1. Now right hand side is given over here as 
Firstly, we will solve this expression enclosed within brackets that is x union y. So by solving this expression, you will get the resultant set that is a, b, c, d, f. We will write it in alphabetical order. Now take union of this set with the resultant as we did before. So we get this set that consists of elements a, b, c, d, f, g, h named as 2. Now from 1 and 2, you can observe that both sides are equal. So from 1 and 2, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, associative law of union is verified. Take B part in which we have to verify associative law of intersection. Left hand side is given over here as. Now, put the value of set x here in place of x and insert symbol of intersection as. Now write this round bracket as it is. Then put the value of set y here. Again insert the symbol of intersection as. Now put the value of set c here. That is c f g h. Now we will find intersection of these two sets enclosed within round brackets. And then we will take intersection of this set with the resultant set. As for intersection, we have to take those elements that belong to both sets. So we will write here C and F as C and F are the only elements that belongs to both sets. Now we will take intersection of these two sets and we will get this set that consists of only one element that is C because C is the only element that is present in both these sets. So this is intersection of both these sets named it as 1. Right hand side is given over here as firstly we will solve this expression enclosed within brackets that is x intersection y. So by solving this expression, we will get the resultant set that consists of b, c and d. Now take intersection of this set with the resultant as we did before. So now we get this set consists of element c. Named it as 2. Now from 1 and 2, you can easily observe that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, associative law of intersection is verified. The third part which is given over here as set X contains elements minus 1, 0, 2, 4 and 5. Set Y consists of elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 7. Set Z consists of elements 4, 6, 8 and 10. Now we will verify associative law of union for these sets firstly. In solution we will write associative law of union as now take left hand side which is given over here as now again put the value of set x after that insert union symbol as it is now be careful again about this round bracket don't ever miss it to write so write this round bracket as it is now again put the value of set y insert union symbol as it is and again put the value of set C here in place of Z that is 4, 6, 8 and 10. Now we will find union of these two sets enclosed within round brackets and then we will take union of this set with the resultant set. So for union you have to take combination of the elements of both sets but we only have to list these elements once. We will get a new set that consists of elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 
8 and 10. Now we will take union of this set with the resultant set. So we get a set that consists of elements minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 10. You have to write all these elements in a sequence. Now you can observe that there is no repetition of any element in this set and this new set contains all the elements of this set and all the elements of this set but with no repetition of element and is named as 1. Now right hand side is given over here as firstly we will solve this expression enclosed within bracket that is x union y. So by solving this expression you will get the resultant set that is minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 7 now take union of this set with the resultant as we did before so we get this set named as 2 now from 1 and 2 you can easily observe that both these sets are equal and same now from 1 and 2, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, associative law of union is verified. Take B part, left hand side is given over here as. In B part, as you can see, we are going to verify associative law of intersection. For this, we will take left hand side which is given over here as. Now put the values of the sets as. And insert the symbol of intersection as it is. And be careful about this round bracket. Firstly we will solve the expression enclosed within this round bracket. For intersection we have to take those elements that belong to both sets. So taking intersection of these two sets we get a set consist of only one element that is 4 because we are taking intersection and 4 is the only element that belong to both sets. So we will write here 4 as now we have to take intersection of these sets. Again 4 is the only element that belong to both sets. So we will write here 4 as. So taking intersection of these two sets, we will get a set consist of only one element that is 4. Named it as 1. Right hand side is given over here as. Firstly we will solve this expression that is x intersection y and it is enclosed within brackets. So by solving this expression, you will get the resultant set that is 2 and 4. You can see we have taken intersection of these two sets and 2 and 4 are the only elements that belong to both sets. Now we have to take intersection of this set with the resultant set. And we get again a set that consists of only single element that is 4. You can see 4 is the only one element that belongs to both sets. Now named it as 2. Now from 1 and 2 you can easily see that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence associative law of intersection is verified. Students, here is an assignment for you. Question number 2, second and fourth part. Thank you so much for watching the video.